Let's start working on the concept of emission fee in this video and we'll do so using this graph. So what do we have here? We have the relationship between the dollars and the pollution reduction and we can see we have a marginal cost line and a marginal social benefit. Now let's give the highlights of what's happening here. So we have pollution. There's a company producing output and it pollutes the environment. So we have pollution. Now because we want less pollution we would like to charge a fee, let's call that fee a tax. This is the emission fee that we're speaking about. Let's just call it a tax because it's easier to, to say it. So we charge a tax for every unit of production, meaning that if, if we produce less units, we pay less taxes. So charge, charge a tax, and let's call that tax as the fee, so F. Uh, charge our tax for every unit of production, for every unit of production of production now let's see what else do we need to understand here we need to understand the nature of the marginal cost it is an increasing an increasing marginal cost meaning that reducing reducing the pollution implies a cost for the company and we could think about it some investments in technology to reduce that pollution so that is a cost and the more pollution we have to reduce because that's the idea here this is what matters this is what matters to understand is that this Pollution is pollution reduction. This is not the level that we pollute, but the level that we reduce. So that's a bit a bit not very intuitive to, to comprehend, but that's the way to do it. So the more we reduce, the more it costs us. Let me write like that. More reduction means more cost. More reduction means more cost. That's the intuition. Now, why is the marginal social benefit decreasing? Why is it decreasing? Well, think about it the simple, the simple uh, diminishing returns example from regular microeconomics. Whenever we eat the first apple, we get some health benefits. But when we eat the second, third, fourth apple, the health benefits are diminishing. The same intuition goes here. When we reduce pollution a bit, so instead of having a really polluted environment, we have it a bit more clean, the benefit that the society gets is really high. They all of a sudden live in a more um, how do you call that ecological environment but the more we reduce pollution so the more we decrease our pollution the more we move along the x-axis our marginal social benefit we can see over here is decreasing let's say from the value of a hundred dollars to ninety dollars to eighty to seventy and so on meaning that if the environment is more and more ecological the additional the additional the marginal benefit of that is decreasing aka diminishing returns of utility so to speak hope this makes sense now what would be the optimal fee to charge the company well we know again from regular micro that we have this relationship all the time between marginals so in this case we have the relationship between marginal cost and marginal social benefit meaning that we will have an optimal an optimal level of pollution reduction <clears throat> so let's call that let's call that this one emission reduction so to speak the optimal emission reduction for a certain for a certain amount let's call that fifty dollars for instance fifty dollars now what does it mean well it means it means that on this range over here on this range over here our fee the fifty dollars is greater than the marginal cost of reducing the pollution so on this range we have that our fee that we are charging of fifty dollars is greater than the marginal cost of pollution and just for the sake of the example let's look at this point over here let's say that the marginal cost the marginal cost of reducing this amount of pollution is equal to is equal to twenty five dollars well we can see that the fee is fifty dollars now why are we still reducing pollution because we are reducing pollution on this range until the point e so on this range until the point of e we are reducing pollution why is that why does this relationship have to hold well remember reducing pollution reducing pollution means paying less taxes means paying less fee so if we are reducing one extra unit of pollution let's just give an example to make it more concrete with the actual numbers let me just change colors real quick make it graphical so let's say we're going from a pollution reduction of 10 units to a pollution reduction of 11 units. So we're reducing one more unit. Reduce over here. We're reducing one more unit. One more unit. What does it mean to reduce one more unit? It means we pay $50, $50 less, right? If we pay $50 less because we are not taxed on that unit since we are not producing it, it means we save $50. So we're saving $50, but it costs us, it costs us, again, with an example, it costs us an additional, an additional marginal cost, so to speak, 
um, let's call that let's call that 20 22 dollars so it costs us 22 dollars to reduce one extra unit cost 22 dollars now what is the benefit the benefit is the saving meaning that the benefit is 50 dollars so the benefit of 50 dollars is greater than the cost of doing so the cost of reducing the pollution benefit greater than cost so it means we make the decision to reduce <coughs> so we we reduce pollution over here that's the intuition and the same logic goes beyond this point that over here the marginal cost of reducing the pollution is greater than the $50. So if we save $50, let's say from going from the optimal level, let's call the optimal level of uh, pollution reduction equal to 20 units and we go from 20 to 21. Let's say we go to 21, we want to reduce one more unit. That's going to be 21 over there. Well, it costs us, it costs us for the sake of the example, let's say it costs us 50, 55, $55 to reduce. So the cost of reducing one more unit is going to be $55, but the benefit is the savings in the tax. So the benefit is the savings of $50. Now what we can see is that the cost is greater than the benefit. So we will stop, we will stop reducing pollution, meaning that by definition, the optimal point is going to be at this intersection where the fee, the tax that we are charged is equal to the marginal cost of reducing the pollution. Hope this makes sense. In the next video, we'll see how this applies when we have two companies in the society that cause pollution.